Catamounts of Western Carolina out of the Southern Conference coming in at three and eight. Short kick by Pletz, fielded by Jalen Waddell. World-class speed for number 17 in Crimson. And ushered out of bounds near the 45-yard line. Is in control of the game plan and going forward, certainly at Auburn next week. Iron Bowl, of course, already a hot topic of conversation as Harris is pummeled. Not Tua. Don't try to be that guy. By the way, no pressure on Jones. Alabama right in the mix. Third down and seven. Jones with a clean pocket. Surveys and fires. Incomplete. Looking for his tight end, Major Tennyson. Joseph Bullibus on for the 29-yard field goal attempt. And Bama draws first. That young defense for Alabama defends that today. Cat a bounce. Owen for a lifetime against the Tide as Christian Barmore. Kelly Stoffer, Lauren Sisler, Roy Philpott here in Tuscaloosa. Play action for Adams who flings it. Pass will be caught by the tight end. That's a first down for Western Carolina's Clayton Bardall. And he rumbly is to discern this scheme that they haven't seen a lot of this season. Inside handoff. Quality pickup for Spence. Will fake it to Nate Mullen. With time is Adams, and the pass is going to be intercepted. Xavier McKinney picked it off. He recovers late and makes a spectacular play on the football. He's on the opposite side to begin with. Spencer, the running back, is going to go right down the seam. Initially, McKinney was actually fooled when he was thinking of running to the to the second pick of the season. Here's Mac Jones unloading one deep, looking for Jerry Judy, and it's incomplete. So we check in for the first time. Ferentz last week, upsetting Minnesota. Golden Gophers no longer undefeated. Nifty move by Najee Harris. Stays alive. And he'll pick up another Crimson Tide first down ahead to the... Five receivers out there. The spark in this offense a lot of times is Harris. Screen pass, Devontae Smith. Little shake and bake. There he goes. Devontae Smith! Times the end zone for another tied touchdown. The beauty playing the quarterback position and taking over for the big shoes of two up. Mac Jones can throw it out to guys like Devontae Smith. He came into this game leading the country in yards after concert to playmakers, and they run it long. Great benefit for a quarterback. That particular time, absolutely not. Buckeyes, interestingly enough, about an 18-point favorite in that game at the shoe. Play action. Pass is tipped, and it's going to be picked off far side. McKinney again, his second interception, and there he goes. Alabama to the house once again. An RPO, and the difference is Tyree Adams doesn't see this type of recovery out of the linebacking level. And you can see that Shaheem Carter is the safety that was up initially steps up, which is the effect that the RP is supposed to have, but it's the recovery he was there to take advantage of it. Alabama striking quickly. Observing how Tua goes about his business. Hands off using misdirection goes to Brian Robinson as we check in again with Lauren. Pretty easy to talk to, and he told us that nothing changes here in terms of how he handles communication with his teammates now that he's QB1. It's the same old Mac Jones, or as he says, Mac John. Mechie checks in at wide receiver. Hand off to Robinson towards the pylon. Did he get there? Touchdown for the tie. Next week against Auburn, the ability to run the ball when you want to run it, not when it's dictated to you. And Brian Robinson. Tigers defense. Marlon Davidson and Derek Brown will have a different vibe in the playoff picture then. Oh, wait, it was on. Because they started that year with the resounding win against Clemson in the Georgia Dome. Najee Harris straight ahead. And he's sent down Iron Bowl. on the kick six, no less. One of the great plays in college football history. Play action for Jones. Finds his target for a first down into Western Carolina territory. He's moving the quarterback a little bit, and thus far, Mac Jones is handling it really well. Play action, unloading, deep looking for Waddle. Corrals it at the 12, and ushered out right there. By Alabama. 
Using tempo, Najee Harris near side towards the end zone, across the goal line for the touchdown. Now that was too easy for the tie, Najee. Ability to receive the football that has really evolved in his game. First of all, does he get the ball across the plane here? I think absolutely that. Harris has grown up greatly in 2019. And that certainly was a point made to us by Steve Sarkis. Actually, truly could say I really love those guys, you know, as people, um, the way they did things, the contribution that they made, how they affected other people. Uh, and, you know, Tua would be one of those four or five guys. At the quarterback position in Tuscaloosa, because you'll be playing with great players. So his elite speed to do something with it. And it's well executed outside. Kind of the smoke screen, you have the blocker by Jerry Judy of all people up front and then get to the edge. And then Western Carolina just simply doesn't see speed like this in the Southern Conference at the FCS level. The angles are completely different in Tuscaloosa. And that is really translating out here today. Nick Saban said he likes his poise and likes how he's managing this offense. An efficient start. There's three first half touchdown throws. This one's going to be picked off. Tyree Adams picked off by the senior Jared Maiden. As opposed to anticipating and letting Adams's eyes really be the final decision maker. Maiden really didn't go anywhere. He stayed right underneath that route the entire time, was not affected at all by the play action. Is really a run pass option in the backfield. And Maiden back on the field to start our third quarter. Play action and looking for Jerry Judy. There he is. First down Alabama. It'll be first and goal from just inside the five. Against Auburn. Najee Harris, the running. Why is Mac Jones out there with the 38 point lead? You made the point. And has this year. Najee Harris with an alley and another touchdown. And so Roy then come out in the second half and warm up all over again and still be efficient. And ball distribution just like Mac Jones. Harris remains on the field. A jump cut inside the 20. Steve Sarkeesian told us, you know, we see tempo on second down. Harris stays in bounds and is lassoed it down at the 15 by Jermichael White. Nalu and Diane move to Tuscaloosa after Tua. Signed with the Crimson Tide. Another easy touchdown for Devontae Smith. The screen. Full of us on for the extra point. It is up. It is good. And the first career touchdown pass for defensive coordinators running scout team. And sometimes it gets a little chippy. <laughs> Busting through is Robinson. Keelan Robinson towards the end zone for another Alabama touchdown. Keelan Robinson does a great job late down the sidelines, keeping inbounds, and once again, another extent possible for Western Carolina's defense to do anything about. Is a thing of beauty, a work of art, if you will. Easy to fall in love with his accuracy. The tightness of threatening. Catamounts did move into Alabama territory in their first three possessions, only to end in turnovers. Matter of time before his story started to be told, and now we know it. On third down, the handoff ahead to the 20. It'll bring up fourth and right now it is 21-14. Nittany Lions coming back. Julian Pletz here in Tuscaloosa connects. The 38 yard field goal to put favor of head coach Nick Saban of the Crimson Tide. I'm not telling you that that will decide who gets in and who's left out, but it's one data point that would give Alabama a chance to be in the playoff. Jerome Ford picks up a first down and is stopped at the 13. Really opens the door for the conversation. I think if Clemson loss either at South Carolina next week or the ACC championship game, that could also open the door. For Alabama and go into their conference championship with one loss, I think it creates a roadblock that Alabama can't overcome. So if you're a fan of the Tide, you're watching ABC tonight at 7:30. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Miss Terry's going to go for that. Jerome Ford towards the pylon for the touchdown.
third of the season for the redshirt freshman. Question is whether Jerome Ford penetrated that pylon. He has to take the ball inside of that pylon. Extremely busy afternoon. An offense back from the dead, it seems like, in recent weeks. That's going to be a fun with the Hoosiers. No, no walkover no, this year. No question about that. One more snap, that'll do it. Tide will improve to 10 and 1. Iron Bowl coming up. Western Carolina falls in its final game to three and nine. Mark Spear, Nick Saban shaking hands midfield. Catamounts pick up $525,000 check for this appearance, which no doubt helps their athletic department in Bama. What amounts to be a glorified scrimmage gets the victory. Lauren Sissler with Nick Saban. Lauren.